Hey everyone, Daniel here and welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are having a great day out there as always. Here today we need to talk about Big Digital, obviously a company involved in the cryptocurrency space, but more specifically dive in deep into a few problems that investors have been having over the past couple of days, weeks, months, etc pertaining to delays and in this video I want to talk about exactly what's happening here with Big Digital, my opinions on it, and exactly whether or not you should be worried about Big Digital moving forward. So if you end up enjoying this video and finding some value in it, please consider subscribing. Without further ado here, let's get into the video. So Big Digital facing some downward pressure yet again on their stock after news came out that Netcoins, obviously this is their uh, cryptocurrency brokerage uh, primarily based in Canada at this moment in time, the app that was meant to be launched by the end of June is delayed. And uh, we can read this tweet here that they released uh, just this more or actually last night at this point. App update. We're working hard to bring you a mobile app that's easy to use and secure. We were hoping to get this out in June, but beta test is taking longer than anticipated as we strive to build the best experience possible as soon as it's ready you'll be the first to know so when we look at this piece of news here from Netcoins, investors are taking it from two main perspectives. One is more positive, one is more negative. So first and foremost, let's look at the positive. Well, investors are saying, all right, Netcoins, the app, all right, Netcoins, or all right, Big Digital, go ahead, make this app as good as possible so that when it is launched, you're not gonna have any issues. If you're involved with Voyager Digital whatsoever, this is obviously a company that I'm heavily invested in. Uh, investing in Voyager Digital from roughly March to April to May wasn't the most pleasant experience. And uh, when you're talking about users on the Voyager platform, it wasn't the most pleasant experience from that standpoint either. They were experiencing delays. They had to uh, do multiple maintenance breaks a week to upgrade their platforms because it couldn't handle the demand that they were experiencing. You know, a uh, customer service was very slow. Obviously now that's much better, but they experienced issues. In the case of big digital here and in the case of Netcoins, some investors, and I think this is a majority of investors are saying, all right, no point in rushing the app, right? If you rush the app, maybe it's gonna get launched, it might crash, you're gonna have to take it down. That's the worst case scenario. So all right, before you launch it, make it as good as possible and we'll go from there and obviously launch it and it's gonna be most likely to not a very successful. But the other side of the argument is, why did you say that it was gonna be out at the end of June if it's not gonna go out at the end of June? Essentially, right, because they've uh, said this multiple times that it's almost certain that by the end of June, the Netcoins app will be available in Canada, and here we are at the end of June, and yet again, they uh, delay the app, and this comes after um, they delayed their uh, annual filing, and this is something that caused Big Digital to experience a lot of negativity back earlier this year, so the company did not file its annual filings by the regular filing deadline of April 30th, 2021, due to delays in the auditing process. The delays are directly related to the volume of audit testing required given the significant growth experienced by the company in 2020 are unique to the emerging cryptocurrency industry and are not expected to continue in the future. The company's uh, personnel are working diligently to complete the annual filings and the company currently expects to file the annual filings on or about May 28th of 2021. So uh, thereafter, May 28th came around and Big Digital did end up reporting their annual filings uh, despite this delay and obviously that caused a lot of uh, positivity around the stock. But what we're seeing now is another delay when it comes to Netcoin. So what is my thought on this? Well, in my opinion, I take this from more of a positive perspective. When I look at a business and when I take a look at a corporation like Big Digital, the main thing that I'm focusing in on is growth and how much revenue is this company producing? Is that revenue growing? Are profits growing? That is the one thing that I wanna look at. And you know, uh, sure, fundamentals matter a ton when it comes to the actual business model, which again, I'm gonna to touch on in a moment here, but when it comes to the actual corporation, when it comes to the actual stock, the main thing that I look at is are revenues growing and, as, and is this business growing rather? And when we look at uh, kind of uh, data here, when it comes to Netcoins and the amount of people that are uh, visiting Netcoins as a website, obviously uh, Netcoins currently only based on uh, with their online website. So if you want to use Netcoins, you got to load up your computer, go to netcoins.ca and you can use the platform. But what we've seen here over the past couple of months, and if you take a look at uh, uh, web traffic here, you'll see that Netcoins has been growing significantly month over month for over month uh, from roughly April. So despite this delay with the app, 
the business continues to grow. So when I look at big digital as a business, I see fundamentals continuing to improve. Now, what are my thoughts on these delays? Well, that is a bit of a different story. But first and foremost, I'm going to take you back to Tesla. This is obviously one of the biggest companies in the world at this moment in time. And I want to take you back to something known as full self-driving. Originally, Elon Musk said that full self-driving would be released sometime in 2018. Well, here we are in mid 2021. What happened? Full self-driving continued to get delayed, but despite that, Tesla as a business continued to grow, continued to prosper, and has now become one of the biggest corporations in the world. So when we look at Netcoins as a business, it continues to grow. And sure, there may be a delay, whatever this may be, a couple of weeks, but at its core, this will help Netcoins and this will help a big digital as a business. You don't want to release something that isn't top notch and isn't uh, the best possible product that they can release as a business and as a corporation. So talking about Netcoins, and this delay and this a problem of delays that we're seeing. Big Digital is a small company. There's no doubt their market cap is uh, well under $1 billion. And uh, they're a company that have experienced a lot of growth over the past couple of months and past couple of years here as cryptocurrencies have really turned to popularity. So what I see with these delays from these timelines that Mark Bins, the CEO of Big Digital, has given over the past couple of months and whatnot, Although I am personally a little bit disappointed when it comes to the execution from the management team, the business continues to grow. And these delays, although they might not be ideal, they aren't impacting growth at Big Digital on a very, very high level. And that is why I am personally letting it slide. If uh, a couple of weeks, couple of months come by and we still don't have an app, I think that is a bit of a concern. But the fact that they're, uh, again, trying to build it out as good as possible makes me feel much much less concerned than a lot of the individuals on stock twits and the Yahoo Finance conversations or other things along those lines. They're going to get this done. They might need a couple more weeks, but they're going to do it on a high level. So talking about big digital stock here and what we've seen over the past couple of days, obviously it's getting absolutely hammered today after this delay of the Netcoins app. Again, you got to consider Fundamentals continue to improve at Big Digital from the front of revenue growth, users on Netcoins, volume traded, etc. And their blockchain intelligence group, the security aspect of their business, also continues to execute partnering with new corporations and gaining new contracts. So when I look at Big Digital and this dip that we're experiencing, in my opinion, it really isn't that warranted when you really take into consideration the fact that this is just a short term delay. They're going to get this done as well as possible. And once it does get launched, people can use the Netcoins platform, the Netcoins app. And in my opinion, an 8% drop on solely this news is not warranted. And in my opinion, presents a nice opportunity to buy into FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And yet again, I am not a financial advisor. I can't tell you to buy or sell a stock, uh, whatever it may be, or however much conviction I may have. That is your decision. And talking about big digital, although I personally do hold around 4% of my stock market portfolio in big digital. I'm happy with that position at this moment in time. If it does fall further, I'll continue to add. Again, I want to keep this around 5% of my portfolio because of its size uh, being obviously much riskier with a market cap of, again, uh, right around half a billion dollars or under half a billion dollars at this point. Uh, this is the a non fully diluted market cap. It is closer to around three, four hundred million dollars at this point. But again, Big Digital, they continue to execute as a company. Sure, they did have a delay with the release of their Netcoins app, but when you really put this into consideration, it reminds me a lot of Tesla where they have this one delay that gets absolutely overblown with fear, yet business fundamentals continue to improve. Eventually, the Netcoins app will be launched. That'll be a great day. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below about this whole situation. In my opinion, again, Really important to take a look at actual core fundamentals and core statistics of a business. If growth starts slowing at big digital and at Netcoins, that may be a bit of a cause of concern. But because Netcoins continues to grow as a platform, I'm not as worried about this potential minor delay uh, that we have with the actual app. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'm personally not too worried when it comes to this. I'm a very patient investor, uh, so I'm fine waiting a few weeks, a few months, a few years for my investment to really play out and talking about big digital totally a long-term hold for me and i think again the netcoins platform the netcoins app they gotta do this well and that's what they're doing anyways thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye